NBA Live used to be the most popular basketball game back in the day. When 2K started making better games, NBA Live took a break, but then they came back. They come back with a force, and there was a genuine competition for a while. Now, there's no denying that 2K was just clearly better at the time, but there was a cult following for NBA Live, and there were some people that kind of liked the super stiff gameplay. But in 2020, NBA Live decided to take a break and they told us that they would be back. Well, today it is the first time we've been updated with NBA Live news and I'm going to cover it in today's video. Get boss out to the pack. It is pack here. <laughs> If you like NBA Live news, apparently we're doing NBA Live stuff now. Please join the pack and subscribe. Let's get in, man. Back in 2019, when NBA 2K20 was dropping, NBA Live 20 was supposed to drop as well. There was even rumors that Luka Doncic was confirmed for the cover athlete. Things were going well for NBA Live. And then, out of nowhere, they drop this post. For some time, we've been putting reps in our console basketball games. We're excited by our progress, but remain hyper ambitious. So we're not going to release NBA Live 20 this season. Along with the NBA, we have our sights set on creating something fresh for the next generation of players and platforms. We know we need to earn our future every step of the way. So we're taking time to get it right for our players. We promise to check back regularly with updates. Until then, we'll be on the the grind. It was a massive drop of like, oh my God, there's no more competition for 2K. NBA Lives are going to take multiple years to make a brand new proper NBA game. And now it's 2024 and the game's not out yet. Or not even like a trailer or cover, nothing. What are they cooking? I'd always thought this was a good sign of like, you know what? NBA 2K is making a game every single year. This is smart. If you take three, four, five years, which is usually how games take to make like AAA games. Hey, you can make a proper basketball game and completely destroy 2K. Because let's be honest, NBA Live, although some people liked it, was just not good. It wasn't good. It, it didn't feel good for most players. But we've waited and waited and waited. And today, NBA Live, or I guess technically EA, drops this post. Let me read it to you. It's in the game. Sorry. <clears throat> That's EA Sports. That's why we create the products we do so that millions of players around the world can grow their love for the sport. For the past few years, we've been making real progress with NBA Live, but we're still not where we want to be. So with continued support from the NBA, we have been working on something new and meaningfully different. An experience that operates at the pace of culture and will change the way you play, connect, and create in basketball. We're excited by what we've built so far, and yet we know the world is changing. New platforms are coming that will bring social connection, accessibility, and player creativity to the fore. In the future of new possibilities, players shouldn't be content with a game built for today's realities based on what we know to be possible. We feel that we can go so much further with the new design. So we are not launching a new NBA Live HD product this season. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. The biggest thing is that one, NBA Live is still being worked on. This is not just like a rumor. This is from EA themselves. We are still making NBA Live and we've been working on NBA Live. The second most important thing is what they're implying. They have mentioned that there are new platforms that are coming and that was today. The PS5 is already out. Are they saying that they're making a game for the PS5 Pro or, and this is what I've honestly am getting out of this, it seems like they're focusing on VR. It really is implying to me that there's future consoles coming out that are probably going to have some kind of virtual reality that they're going to try to do. They already stated that they're going to do a different approach than 2K and what NBA Live was doing. They want to do their own thing. VR is their own thing. The thing is, if NBA Live is going to do this, if they're really going to make a VR game, it has to be literally perfect in order for anybody to be willing to even buy VR headsets and stuff. We'll have to wait and see what NBA Live is cooking but the final thing is they've confirmed there is no nba live coming this year what do you guys think about all of this let me know in the comments below and if you like this channel please give it a sub i'll see you guys next time